Welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Today we will be discussing simplifying radical expressions. To simplify a radical expression, it must have the following characteristics. First, there is no factor in the radicand that can still be extracted as a root. Second, the radicand is not in fraction form. Third, there is no radical in the denominator. And fourth, the index is greater than the exponential power of the radicand. And fifth, the index of the radical and the exponents in the radicand have no common factor except one. So those are the characteristics of a radical expression if we're going to check whether it is in simplest form or not. Let's have the following examples to better understand. Simplify square root of 32. Following our characteristic number one, there is no factor in the radical that can still be extracted as roots. 32, factors of 32 are 16 times 2. Right? 16 times 2 is 32. 16 is a perfect square number. Square root of 16, that is 4. Then copy, square root of 2. So 4 is square root of 2. Second, cube root of x raised to 5. Factors of x raised to 5, that can be written as x cubed times x squared. Following the laws of exponent, if we have the same base, add the exponent, so 3 plus 2, that is 5. Cube root of x cubed, that will give us x, then cube root of x squared. Okay. Next, number 3. Square root of 1 half. Our second characteristic, the radicand is not in fraction form. So this must not be in fraction form. So we can rewrite this as square root of 1 over the square root of 2. But in our ca third characteristic, there is no radical in the denominator. Square root of 2 is our denominator. So we need to reduce. We can multiply this to our denominator, square root of 2 over square root of 2. That is equal to 1. Still, that is equal to square root of 1 half. Now, we have square root of 1 times 2, that is 2, over square root of 2 times 2, that will give us 4. Square root of 4, this is now... 4 now is a perfect square. So copy square root of 2, our numerator, over square root of 4. That will give us 2. So this will be our simplest form. Square root of 2 over 2. Next, this time we have cube root of 2 over 3. So cube root of 2 over cube root of 3. We need to find a number that if we're going to multiply to 3, that will give us a perfect cube. That is 9. So cube root of 9 over cube root of 9. Why 9? Because 3 times 9, that is 27. And 27 is a perfect cube. Our goal is there is no radical or there must no radical in the denominator. So, cube root of 2 times 9, this is 18, over 3 times 9, cube root of 27. Cube root of 18 over cube root of 27 is 3. So, this will be our 
final answer. And now, number 5, 1 over 2 plus square root of 3. So, we can still write this into simplest form because the characteristic must not be no radical in the denominator. So, let us multiply this to conjugate. We're going to conjugate. So, 2 minus square root of 3 over 2 minus square root of 3. To find the conjugate of this, just copy the binomial, then change the sign. If this is minus, if the given is 2 minus 3 squared, uh, 2 minus square root of 3, of course, we can write it as 2 plus square root of 3. Just interchange the sign. Or change the sign. So since our given is plus, so we're going to write the minus sign. Now multiply 1 times 2, that is 2, 1 times negative square root of 3, negative square root of 3, over FOIL method, 2 times 2, that is 4, 2 times negative square root of 3, negative 2 square root of 3. Next, square root of 3 times 2, positive 2 square root of 3. Next, square root of 3 times negative square root of 3, negative square root of 9. Okay? I will erase it. I will put it in, I will write it in the center. Now, combine like terms. Our numerator, 2 minus square root of 3 over negative 2 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 3. That will give us 0. Pass out. Now copy 4. Minus square root of 9. 9 is a perfect square. Square root of 9 is 3. Our final answer is 2 minus square root of 3 over 4 minus 3. That is 1. Since 1 is our denominator, it's okay not to write this. Then our final answer is 2 minus square root of 3. Now, your turn. If you want to try number 6, pause the video, then after answering or some watching to check your answers. So, can you find the conjugate? So, square root of A minus square root of B over square root of A minus square root of B. Use the FOIL method. Square root of a times A, that will give us A squared, then copy B. Next, positive times negative, so negative, square root of A. This time we have B times B, that is B squared. Next, square root of B times square root of A, that is Positive square root a b and plus positive times negative negative square root of b times b b square over our denominator square root of a times square root of a that is square root of a square square root of a times negative square root of b this is negative square root a b positive b times positive square root uh, positive square root of a times positive square root of a positive square root a b square root of b times negative square root of b negative square root b square simplify our numerator and denominator Square root of A squared B, so that is equal to A square root of B minus B square root of A, then positive square root of AB, then negative B. 
And our denominator, our middle term will be cancelled out. Square root of a squared, that is a, minus square root of b squared will give us b. So this is now our denominator, a minus b. So that will be our final answer. So that's on how to simplify radical expressions. Our next video will be focusing on how to rationalize the, denom the denominator of our radical expressions. Stay tuned for our next video.